The dangers in driving are many. Think about it. Tailgaters, speeders, cell phone users, drunk drivers, sleepy drivers, road rage, mechanical failure, red light runners. This chapter deals with a dangerous element of driving that is one of the most tragic and avoidable. We are talking about pedestrians. There are places that are best for pedestrians to cross the street, and as shown in the following video, there are places not to cross the street. Good, here we go. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, green means what? Go. Yeah. Left lane change. Check it. Blinker. She's not going to let you go. We'll go right after her. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Good. Gas. Mm -hmm. Good. They're just backed up here to pull into the parking lot. She's in a bad spot. Jeez. Crosswalks what? 60, 80 feet away? Yeah. Here we go. The last video ended with the driving instructor and the student discussing how close the jaywalker was to a crosswalk and chose not to use it. Instead, they chose to dodge cars and a bus to cross a busy downtown street. The next clip is just as idiotic as the last. This death wish pedestrian uses a crosswalk but is crossing on a red light and the oncoming traffic has a green light. So you can see the confusion for the oncoming traffic. These three jaywalkers are right there in the way. Let's make a ride at the light. Idiots. They're waiting. <laughs> They're running for me. What color was our light, Jake? Green. What color was the pedestrian's light? Red. Thank you. Here you will see another pedestrian who is either colorblind or on a death wish. The motorcycle cop will go through the intersection and seconds later, the dodo brain bicyclist will cross on the red light. We're seeing this more and more. And can we all agree? This has got to stop. A crosswalk is the best place for a pedestrian to cross the street. A crosswalk is an intersection whether it is marked or not. As you can see in this photo, the crosswalk is where the two streets meet. This is where most drivers expect a pedestrian to cross. Mid-block crossing is illegal in California. In this clip, the young man uses an uncontrolled marked crosswalk. Uncontrolled means the traffic flow does not have a stoplight or stop sign. Notice the pedestrian steps into the crosswalk looking left first and giving the oncoming cars time to see him. Here are two videos of an uncontrolled marked crosswalk, explained in the last video shown. This is from a driver's viewpoint. Pedestrians are not using the crosswalk in the first clip, and the second one they are. Remember, people may cross at an intersection, whether it is marked or not, when it is safe to do so. Here's a view of the uncontrolled marked crosswalk. See, our car doesn't have a stop sign. Now here's a closer look at it. And um, you only stop here if there's a pedestrian in it or another car stopped at it. Okay, we're approaching here and we see the car in front of us stopping. Now, if we thought right now, why are they stopping? There's no stop sign there. You can't go change lanes and go blasting past this car. This is an uncontrolled crosswalk. When there's another car stopped at it, you have to stop. 
they're blocking a pedestrian at times and you don't see the pedestrian and uh, you just can't go blasting around them. As driving instructors, we are out in traffic for hours each working day. It makes no sense what we witness. Pedestrians of all ages putting themselves in harm's way makes a person wonder if people even have a head on their shoulders anymore. Here are a couple examples of college students stepping right into a car's path without even looking. Hello. Boy, wow. Hello. Hi. That this, was that important right then, huh? Yeah, this is a road. Oh. Yeah. Oh. At least you made a decision. Huh? Yeah. Let's see if these people look back. See this guy's they... texting. Look, did these people look back? No. no. <laughs> Not a clue. Not, Not at a all. clue. Still don't even know that there's a car behind him. And that they could have been run over. In the last video, the college students stepped off the curb with their backs to the approaching traffic. Anytime a person steps off a walkway into traffic, they should check their blind shoulder before committing to the first step, as shown in this clip with these two sisters on their way to school. As a five-star driver, visual scanning is the key to spotting pedestrians that mistakenly pop out of the worst places as seen in this clip. And no gas, start to brake. Right turn signal, we're gonna turn right here. Signal right, right here. here, this little street. Good, no brakes. Good. Amazing. Good reaction. I feel like hit the kid. Yeah. <laughs> I just ain't never seen nothing like that before. He's so young. Witnesses clung to each other, trying to come to grips with what had just happened. They say a tank bus approaching 6th and Vine never slowed as the red light turned green. As the bus hit the intersection, witnesses say the victim, who they say couldn't have been more than 15 years old, tried to jog across the street, realizing only at the last second he wasn't going to make it. He ran out into the bus's path and right, got hit. and got hit. And then he started getting dragged by the bus. Yes, he got dragged by the bus. But by the time the bus tried to break, it's like it was already too late, because as they was breaking, his body was already being pulled up under there. And all you heard was him scream. That was all you heard. Our film crew just stopped at an intersection one day to see how many jaywalkers we would spot. It only took a few minutes to see these ones. Mind you, the crosswalk at the major intersection is only 50 to 75 feet away from these risk takers. In the last video showing jaywalkers, they were all adults. So the question has to be asked, how we as a society have gotten to this point where pedestrians just step into traffic so often, resulting in approximately 4,600 pedestrian deaths each year in America and 68,000 injuries. That is one pedestrian accident every nine minutes. 
Well, as seen in the next two videos, the parents don't even do the right thing when it comes to crossing the street. In the first one, you will see the little girl glance back over her blind shoulder before her and her parents step off the curb. In the second video, a mother walks her three young children across on a full red light. You have got to be kidding me. Are these people colorblind? The kid looked back. <laughs> the little girl looked back. <laughs> you can learn a lot from a two-year-old. The team of people responsible for producing the creating a five-star driver series believe that the senseless injury and death caused by wayward pedestrians along with speeding and distracted drivers is unacceptable. So it is imperative that parents break the downward trend and set the standard for our youth. This clip is of a newscast that shows what teenagers will do when they have been shown nothing better. On to our top story at noon today, a split-second mistake ending the life of a Fresno teenager after she steps into the path of oncoming traffic. This happened just after 7 o'clock this morning on Blackstone near the Fax Bus Terminal at Manchester Center. That's where we joined CBS 47's Rupam Sidhu. She is live. Rupam, appears to be just a tragic accident, huh? It really is a tragic accident. That could happen at any moment of the day. We've been here for a little bit over than an hour, and we see people jaywalking across Blackstone Avenue almost on a consistent basis. And just within the past 10 minutes, we had relatives of this young victim come up to us and say that she was a good student who knew how to ride the bus and never really broke any laws. But again, for this young girl, it was a gamble that she took, a gamble that she paid with her life. What was going on? We seen the truck going 45. It was going pretty fast. That's all I seen. And then we heard something here. We heard something, we heard a big bang. The driver of this pickup truck didn't have time to react when the young teenager stepped out into busy Blackstone Avenue. When it was over, her sneakers, her backpack, lie dozens of feet away under the watchful sign that says "No jaywalking here." It's a sign that indicates that this portion of Blackstone Avenue is not designated for pedestrian crossing. Uh, it's just a tragedy. It's very unfortunate um, uh, that the, the young girl chose this particular location to try to cross the street. Um, uh, just a, a horrible tragedy. This a tragedy that hundreds of young students dodge every day. And I've almost hit people, and I don't want to be the person that hits, accidentally hits somebody and kills them. Janet Weber commutes past the Fax bus station and nearby Fort Miller Middle School every day. She says the problem is no one is ticketed for breaking the law and parents who turn a blind eye. And it really concerns me when I see a mother pulling two or three children with them across the street. What are they teaching those children? That it's okay to walk across the middle of the street. John, back to you. Driver's got to feel horrible about this. Uh, he wasn't at fault, though, huh? Oh, absolutely not, John. Just imagine you're on your regular morning commute and you happen just to be driving by and, and just as soon just happens to walk out right in front of you. Now, the driver is not going to be cited. There were no drugs and no alcohol involved. Again, just mm. a tragic accident. For now, we are live in central Fresno. Rupam Sidhu, CBS 47 on your side. A couple of, uh, couple of weeks ago, uh, there was a gentleman driving down the road here at 40 miles an hour uh, at 7 o'clock in the morning uh, past these buses. This is a popular uh, bus terminal and a teenager ran out in front of the bus to cross the street, to go across the street to get something to drink, and she was killed. She was hit just in this situation right there. So in this situation, when you know that there's a lot of buses, at least cover your brake, which reduces your reaction time if somebody were to pop out in front of you. Okay, just a recap of all that went wrong here. Uh, could have been so avoided. That's the crosswalk, just a mere feet from where she crossed in front of those buses. Where she crossed had up to three, I believe, no pedestrian crossing signs. 
And um, right there where her shoes are in the road, there was one of the signs right in front of her. While the film crew from the TV station was there filming this story, they caught these two teenagers crossing right near where she crossed. And you can see traffic whizzing by. This has got to stop. It's got to stop. Well, yeah, that was ridiculous. To see the mother escorting her children across the street on a red light. Had they been hit there at that time, in most states, the driver would not be at fault. Laws differ from state to state, but most often when a pedestrian jaywalks or crosses against the light, if a driver hits them, the driver is not at fault. Please know that if the driver is speeding or under the influence in any way, that puts the blame back on the driver. The last video in this chapter we call the Senior Shuffle. It shows that jaywalkers come in all ages. And lane change left. This yeah. is the Senior Citizen Shuffle. I thought that person was going to swing out real quick. What? Yeah, what crosswalk? Oh, you guys are killing me. You guys are all on tape. This is worse than a train. Yeah, but the thing is, all of these people are adults, and they're jaywalking. Not just jaywalking, they're not even letting cars... Exactly. Oh. You're sorry, sorry. Okay. You want to still? Yes, please. There's a signal, they could have gone back yes. this far. Yeah, but that's... And then they wonder why they're teenagers, and, and you know, the younger kids jaywalk. Gee.